Dude, I can never get over Gran Turismo music. It is, like, it is eternal mood. Everything from Gran Turismo is just... Speaks to me as a person. So... So hello everyone, welcome to another stream. It is the 1st of March 2021, 2000... Wait. <laughs> um, so, uh, I guess, yeah, we're already in March. Uh, two months into the year. Anything crazy happened so far for me? Not too much, in particular. Um... I got a couple of topics to talk about. I don't think anything that's going to take too much for the whole uh, the whole stream. But you know, more more talk, less York. Uh, rip Tom York, I guess. He, he gets ripped in my uh, rhyming um, part here. Uh, let's boot up the game and get right into the news. Um, so, uh, I can cry slightly because, yeah, I panicked, uh, in the last, uh, the last video because of, uh, uh, a, I worried that I had a recording mishap because the game audio went mute on me at some point, and I was like, oh no, that's not good at all, oh no, and as it turns out, the game audio went mute at some point, just, I think, OBS, it just muted the audio stream. I have entered a cave. What is inside? And it's getting slightly darker. Oh, nice, nice. I like the effect. Good on you guys. Um, oh, these are some tall fellas. Uh, but yeah, no, it turns out OBS just muted it for about five minutes. Um, so what probably might have happened is that uh, my cable to my controller might have hit the key which I think my mouse was over on the mute button. So let's try and not do that ever again. Uh, but until then, uh, we're back for some more Golden Sun. Um, yeah, no, beginning of a new month is always an arbitrarily exciting time because it gives you a chance to reflect. So for me, I kind of felt that this cave is gonna absolutely peed me off, isn't it? Oh boy, can I do a uh, reveal? You know, it slightly helps, but not entirely. Alright. Um, so, but, uh, yeah, thanks for the follow, uh, Chewie. Uh, but, you know, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Start of the month, always good. Always nice to, um, to just, like, look back on things. So, I realize that, uh, I have absolutely lost the cables to my capture card. Uh, which is... Mmm, every time. Every single time. I'm gonna go Gin 3 on this one. Uh, I guess we got a little bit of... Gin that is still... need a summon, so maybe I can just go for like some simple summons. Uh, and then you've got all of yours still set, so you can just go right in. We got Tornado. We'll just go right in with the heavy ones. Um... So yeah, no, I realized that my capture card cables have gone missing. I don't think I've lost them. They must be somewhere inside my house. But I have no idea where they are. So what I've tried to devise doing is create a little small index. So I'm going to just kind of write down like what everything I have is and just like where they are and things contain things and I know what's in them. And then later on when I'm looking for things, I can kind of go, oh, that is in this one thing. Because I used to kind of put things away in a cupboard and then the cupboard... Uh, ended up not being the same cupboard because I moved um, and now everything is in slight disarray and it's okay because I haven't really been needing to grab anything but now that I have, I'm as nearly dead, that's something to be slightly concerned about um, but that's okay because I did fell the Mimic and I got some Water of Life which is always good um, uh, it, yeah, it's like, you only know that things are misplaced once you try and find them so that's always a pain, so yeah, so I'm gonna go through and just kind of like dig out all my stuff, and then uh, I'm writing up just like a little um, thingy in YAML. Uh, I'm using Python just to verify that I've written everything properly, and then uh, and also to interpret what is happening here.
you can see me. Ah, uh, uh, poor guy. Can't show himself. So he died. Ugh. Could you do me a favor? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Pharmacy down there? Nice. Sure, I'll be nice. Whoa. Deep into the cave, you find five rocks sticking up out of the ground. Rotate the rocks on the left and the right sides. Write this down. When you turn the rocks in the right order, five colored lights will appear. Lights will appear on the well. There'll be five colors, blue, green, white, red, yellow, and red. Turn the five rocks in accordance with those colors. Okay. The blue light corresponds to the rock fathers on the left. In order, the other rocks are green, white, yellow, and red. When you see the light, rotate the corresponding rock. So in order, left to right, the colors are blue, green, white, red, yellow, red. Correct, if you did this correctly, a hidden door will open. Uh, so what's the odds that... Well, okay. I appreciate I get a small glimpse of the world around me. Uh, when that effect happens. <laughs> really taking it. Uh, maybe I should do a... bit of a Gaia. Bit of an attack. Meleeing is alright, but it only gets you so far, you know? To use. Uh, so yeah, nah. Uh, losing myself is a bit of a pain to me because it's something that I never really considered much. But now that I'm, uh, you know, you, you buy things and you're trying to balance like where things are, it becomes a bit painful. So I'm sorting my myself out just so I can keep a good record of what's going on. Uh, oh, 20? Jeez. So I have the suspicion that there's something over here. Uh, let's have reveal on L, because I know I'm gonna probably need that a fair bit. Oh, that's kind of annoying. So I can't reveal this guy? He just magically isn't there. Wait, yeah? It's on a table behind the door. Got it. Sure. How bad could it be? I, uh, I was expecting a cheeky little route that wasn't immediately obvious. Well, that's a cheeky route to get a ch cheeky chest, so... Uh, but yeah, I, I'm curious if you guys do anything to improve your organizational skills, uh, or at least just, like, things that you recount things with. Um, so that's always good. Uh, I remember one thing that my parents would always tell me to do is, uh... Always note your financial transactions on your your credit card and your debit card, whatever. Uh, and uh, I I kind of went like way overboard in the past because I used to like write down all my stuff externally, and then it's like, well, you can just export your <laughs> your transactions via CSV. So I don't really know why I have to manually do this. Uh, but uh, in checking that, I have actually caught. Uh, some uh, fraudulent transactions on my debit card in, in the act. Uh, so that stuff, I'm very glad that my bank could, uh, could easily sort that out and fortunately like I don't put too much money on my um, payment account at a time so usually I, I do a transfer into it the moment I need to buy something like serious on the go so 
Uh, but, nah, yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs> just like, yep, there's three bucks, there's sixty bucks, and I call them up, and I was like, oh, good thing they only tried three bucks, or sixty bucks, and I was like, no, they definitely tried thirteen thousand. And I'm like, oh, that's, uh, that's convenient that didn't go through. Um... So, yeah. A little spooky. I'm not too sure how they've done it, because uh, I still am in possession of my cards. I've only ever used my card on, like, incredibly major sites, so either one of them's had a data breach. Uh, I have a suspicion of a couple that have had that, um, which makes me a little worried, because it's like, I definitely don't, like, log my payment infos. That means they do, which is not really great. Um... Or alternatively, someone has caught my card number on um, video somehow. That's another one that sometimes happens. Like, I have the suspicion that it's like there's so many people filming around that perhaps someone out there has gotten the card details. It's a bit of a shame, but you know, you should you should know I'm a guy in my mid twenties. Oh, look at that. I'm a guy in my mid-twenties, with a debit card, like, you got bigger fish to fry. Uh, this is a puzzle. Did that just jam that? That actually might have jammed that. I think that actually did jam that, because now I need to push that down. I can't. Okay, okay, we've got a puzzle on our hands. We've got a puzzle. Uh... That hit defend on someone? Okay. Sure. Die. Very die. Um, yeah, that was a great segue. Uh, I guess into, um, I'm dropping all my topics in the first 12 minutes, jeez. Um, so into, uh, another need for, uh, pulling out old things of mine. I, uh, I pulled out my old, uh, Xbox, um, so that I can play, uh, oh, that actually, does that actually lock me out? No, it doesn't. If, no, if I push it up, yeah, it does, yeah. Dang it. Okay, so I do need to stop that on the way. But how do I get up here? How do I freeze that on the way up? Hold on, I'm actually trying to break this down. Like, I can walk up here. Which I... Oh! Alright, because I was thinking, like, I don't see me able to do anything in any other order. But nah, if I go back... And move this across. Yeah, that actually blocks it. Uh, for one, let's move that. I don't need, I don't think I have to do a full reset, but I do have to step down and around. Dang it. <laughs> um, so in other things, uh, I have started a terrible trend of, uh, buying things on eBay. So I bought myself uh, the original Project Gotham Racing and the original Forza Motorsport, uh, both for the Xbox. I own about five Xbox games, uh, two of them are exclusive to the Xbox. Uh, this was from way back, and now I own two more, which is nice. Um, uh, the main reason, I remember playing Project Gotham Racing, uh, two a bunch as a kid, and I, I actually really liked it. Um, but I had never played the first one, I uh, never played the third or the fourth one, and I had also never played uh, Metropolis Street Racer, a game made by the same people, uh, but for the Dreamcast. So I've been playing that uh, in ye olde emulated times, I think that's actually it, because that forms a path that goes around. Uh, I gotta fight this guy, don't I? I'm, I'm imagining I fight this guy. Um, so, I don't know anything about uh, Forza Motorsport, um, one, 
The only other Forza I've played is Horizon 4, which I think is probably so far away from the same game um, that maybe it's not the fairest to compare, but I do remember people really, really liking the original uh, for the Motorsport. Um, it came out really late, didn't it? It's, uh, do I have copyright on the back of the box? Not particularly, but they did manage to license Ferrari and Ford, so that's nice. Uh, 2005. Like, way late. Really, really, really late. So, um, so I'm looking forward to kind of getting into it, but, uh, I decided to kind of hold off, one, because of the capture card thing, because my issue is that my setup right now, um, I've gotten rid of my, uh, well, I guess I could play with the upscaler. Um, actually, I actually could. My sister's hogging the main TV, so I would have to play it on my, kind of, my setup right now, like, just my computer monitor, which is fine, but yeah, I've got to run my, the Xbox through an upscaler, which will convert into HDMI. Unfortunately, the, the Xbox goes, uh, at... 60 frames, which is very nice and convenient, because everything else is 50 in Europe and Australia, and it's a pain because this upscaler includes a duplicate frame, which just absolutely hurts. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I'd run into the capture card so that uh, I can hear the audio. Oh, well, that's going to be a fun one, actually. I didn't even think about this. Um, so in doing so, I'm like, okay, well, I, this has also been a great opportunity to buy a better capture card that captures in 4K. What I didn't think of was, how am I going to listen to the audio? Because the older capture card had an audio out, which actually was kind of nice, because that would mean I could monitor the audio out um, without having to... Um, well, well, it's not plugged into anything else. Sorry, I could monitor the audio out while it's plugged into the monitor that doesn't have any audio out. Um, that would be a curious one for me to, to test out. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know if this new capture card even has... Um, let me actually look this up. So I bought myself a, uh, an AvaMedia, uh, the, the 4K PCIe one, um, which is probably a little overkill, to be honest, but, you know... I've, I've learned a bit, don't go too cheap, don't go too cheap. So if I go game capture, 4K, the GC573, I don't, yeah, it doesn't have an audio uh, pass through, so what I'm hoping is that I could just listen to it on the computer with very minimal delay. Uh, well, we'll see how that goes, actually. That, that was a feature I didn't even bother looking up, and I really... Uh, what to consider that. It's not going to be too bad, but I do really hope that there's not a significant delay. Because, um, yeah, I remember, at least on the, the older model, it was an absolute, like, nightmare. Um, well, just like the amount of delay that ended up happening if you're trying to run it off the preview. I guess that's the thing. It, that was running off the preview and not um, the actual source itself. So perhaps with it inputting directly into the computer via PCIe, um, maybe there's something available. Uh, everyone is on rather low health, aren't they? You know what's the best part? I didn't even like re-equip this onto... Just give yourself a bit more health and while I'm at it, uh, let's go for the cure. 406 health, bro. What is happening here? What is happening? We've got so much health. Hold on. Uh, status... Like, what is... Why is Isaac, like, suddenly, like, the absolute tank character? He's fast, he's got luck, he's got about the same defense, and he's got more health and attack. He's just, overall, like, the better character. And he's got magic as an option. Like, he gets all this stuff. Garrett just seems to be, like, struggling by, and I'm not too sure what exactly that is. I understand, I guess he's slow, but... Um... I'd imagine Ivan's the, the faster magic user, but yeah, like, me is a cleric, but me is a bit slower. Me has got the luck, though. I'm not too sure how the luck stat, like, adds up, but...
This is an absolute maze of a dungeon. Who did this? Who did this? Um, so yeah. So yeah, I'm looking forward to, to using this Evermedia one. Uh, 4K is obviously more overkill than anything that I'd capture, but I like having the high refresh as an option. That sounds actually really nice for capturing like PC stuff uh, off another computer. Um, so that, that might be kind of nice. Um, and uh, and I think the 4K kind of future proves it, because then it's like, okay, well, it's, I, I hear like if you get one via that plugs in via PCIe, usually they're supported a bit nicer just because like you've got the right custom drivers and all that jazz. This is, yeah, so that's where I came from. Maybe I gotta go by the top? Maybe. Um, and that as well, I don't have to worry about US, yeah, USB, like, sometimes just things that plug in via USB stop working. Uh, and my capture card had been one of them. In fact, I've used like a couple of other capture devices which were much cheaper and none of them really worked. I remember buying one by a company called uh, Kaiser Bass. And uh, yeah, no, it, it didn't work at all. There was nothing of it that worked. And I'm really bummed about that because that was like, I think it was actually like 50 bucks. It was like, it's not much, but like for something that doesn't work, it's a lot. Um, so, uh, I'm sticking with Ava Media. I've had reasonable luck with, um, the, the portable, although it's not, it's not amazing. Like, uh, on my old installation of Windows, I would have to boot up the computer with it plugged in. If I plugged it in at any time, uh, while running Windows, it just would not work. But then the moment I boot started Windows, it would just work, so I'm like, okay. New computer seems to be really nice, or well, not new computer, but, but new installation, which reminds me that... Maybe it's about time I end up reinstalling Windows. Close to about time, but not quite. Um, I'm in that mindset of just like spring cleaning, just going like, what else is kind of trash? Uh, and another thing that I found kind of trash uh, about what I'm doing is that I think since I moved, uh, my computer's been like freezing on me um, in a really weird way where it's like uh, the everything locks up. So taskbar, I've got the seconds going and it just pauses, so it's like, okay, mouse doesn't move, uh, my audio cuts out immediately when it happens, uh, every other device stays on, my monitors stay on, my laptop, sorry, my, um, my keyboard stays, uh, RGB lit, um, but, uh, if I unplug a device and plug it back in, uh, it doesn't light up, so that, Im you know, implies, like, maybe the power supply, uh, or motherboard, but I'm probably gonna say power supply. Uh, and worst case for the power supply is that I buy something that's a lot nicer because my existing one is... It's not like too bad, it's the Corsair CV7...CX750M. It's... It's like it's an alright one, but... I feel like I'm also kind of pushing it because if I'm, if I'm just going at uh, like... Well, I, I looked up like what's the worst cases for like... Sorry, the worst, you know possible things that my parts could do and it's like okay well the GPU can maybe pull 250 watts and the uh I'm not too sure what is happening here They're, those just seem like they're lying around I don't see anything in particular until maybe uh unless I raise the water level in which case oh okay uh let's go for another place by Although I've got like a better ability that hits like three targets, it's just great. Like this one. Uh, don't necessarily have one here. Uh, and I'm gonna use Spritz because I'm gonna need a little bit of that party HP for the moment. I haven't been lining myself up. Oh, and that cast magic on me. Uh, so, yeah, in the, in the worst case, it's like, well, I've got a, a power supply that's kind of running out of warranty, uh, it's semi-mod, it's a little inconvenient, it, uh, it's 80 plus bronze, so I figured, hey, if I buy a new power supply, there's the natural, like, I'm saving 
power if I'm using a, my computer on the load. And I use my computer a lot, so I'd imagine it is happening quite a fair bit. Um, and I use my computer a lot for, for gaming and doing like video stuff and just general like I mean, neural nets also come up quite a fair bit. Uh, am I doing anything efficient with it? Probably not, but you know, I, I think it's nice to have that headroom, so uh, so yeah, so I'm just like, well, I'll, I'll buy a better one. I will <laughs> go mildly overkill. Uh, just get get myself the freaking, like, the big Seasonic Titanium one. Uh, oh. That's it. That's it. I just push this back and I'm, I'm back in business. Oh, no. What's the order? What's the order? He said push the left and the right one, didn't he? That helps. I don't remember Cyan. I remember yellow. I remember. Oh, I guess that's green. Uh, it was like blue, red. Oh, I guess that's the two. It was like blue, red, green, white, yellow, I think. Maybe it's just telling me what the thing is and I'm just using reveal to give it away. I kind of appreciate having reveal be the, the king. I don't necessarily think I did the exact thing, but the Mystic Drop. Okay, there we go. Ah, we got a big dude. This guy fills me with dread. So, uh, I'm definitely in the spirit of, of treating myself a bit, but uh, within within modesty, I've got no need to really upgrade. Um, any computer parts, especially <laughs> today's GPU climate. Did I mention that the 3060 was coming out uh, between the last stream and this one? Because it came out, uh, people did an any percent speed run of it going sold out, and it turns out five seconds was it. Uh, it immediately disappeared from almost everywhere. Um, so, good luck buying a 3060. Uh, the worst part is that. Um, like, I, I do like NVIDIA's products, but the 3060 seems like a bit of an odd one to me. Um, the slower memory bus really seems like it kills for me, because, like, as much as VRAM is, like, such a talking point, you don't need much, like, memory. You need fast memory. And that's something that I've criticized about AMD's products. It's like, they've got a lot of memory in those cards, but who uses that? The 3090, it has 24 gigs of VRAM. Who uses that? I sometimes, I think I might have said this already on, on the video, but I'm going to say it again. Like, I remember Hardware Unbox, uh, their video about the, I guess it was about the 3080 when it came out. Um, or the 3070 when it came out. And they, they made the claim that um, uh, with, um, with Doom Eternal, you can run a, a setting that... Uh, surpasses 6 gigs of VRAM, doesn't quite hit 8 gigs, and you can see that cards with less than 6 gigs of VRAM struggle, whereas cards with more than 8 gigs do okay. And I was like, oh, I looked at it and I was like, actually, like, there's the 2060 on there, which does have less than 6 gigs of VRAM, doing remarkably okay. It does definitely do less than the setting, um, or well, with the setting on. But it doesn't do horrendously, and I think that's because, like, the game is not- that's not like a straight VRAM test. If you're getting VRAM issues, like, your game will freeze, your game will kind of hitch, because it has to start swapping video memory with system memory, which is painfully slow, like, and painfully, uh, like, inconsistent. But this was, like, consistently slow, so it was like, there's more to it, and that's because 
Doom Eternal is not like the typical game that's using all your VRAM. It's your games can allocate the VRAM, doesn't necessarily use it, and sometimes it does. Yeah, like it, it doesn't necessarily use it. And sometimes it just allocates a ton. In fact, quite a lot of cards do that. Well, games do that. They allocate as much as they want, so that then they never have to worry about anything else. Maybe using it. It's like no, they they they've over allocated beyond belief. Here we go. Will this guy be okay? We'll see. Glug 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 glug. Ah! Ah! It's a man- wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nah, it's fine. just going in for it. You're peering into his heart. What's the matter? It's Babby! Uh-oh. How can you know that? Uh... What's a Lemuria? That's, that sounds like a condition. You should get that looked up. Again, I still like the idea that like all of these various cities have different terms for different things. So this guy's looking for a Lemurian, but maybe it's something else, but I don't know, man. This is like it's the same magic with like many different tribes. Um ah. You've been sitting in a cave for how long? Yes, I do remember. Good job, man. Good job. I do know him. Oh, how convenient he's lit everything up. Oh, hello. What are you doing in a cave? That's what I have to do, then so be it. And there's a roll call yet again. Alright, we gotta wait until the trial then. special rules because people did a thing. It's like, uh, I, I'm always reminded of the end of the uh, Harry Potter when they, they just get given like all the freaking house points at the end of the first one, and then it's like, yep, you, you did it! <laughs> you did it, Neville. You just stood up to someone, got freaking wrecked, and then uh, you earned enough house points to win the cup. You are so far behind as a house. Like, that, that's insane. You guys remember that, don't you? It's like freaking like Slytherin was so far in the lead. They're doing their best. They're doing all the good stuff. 
and then just like fifty points to Gryffindor just because <laughs> she freaking ruined it for everyone. House points mean nothing at that point. You just gave like all these house points on the last day, which made me really upset when I played uh, the video game, which had the house cup as a mechanic to kind of be like uh, effectively a score system. So it's like if you just kind of rushed the game and didn't really do any of the nice side things, you'd have fewer house points. But it made me think Dumbledore's gonna rig it for me anyways. So, dang it, Dumbledore. It's the worst. Absolute worst. Uh, I could back out of here. So it's been a while since I've seen daylight. Uh, all the... Uh, I gotta go left and I'm gonna go left. Yeah. Rabbit bat. Oh gosh. Get that looked at. Um. So moral is moral is back to graphics cuts. So uh. So yeah, I was I'm very upset to see that like people would make the claim that you did need a gigs of VRAM in your card at minimum uh, coming up to this console generation because it's like oh the new cards have um. Do they have a gigs of dedicated VRAM? They don't need it. Or maybe they do, and they're gonna use it inefficiently. But they're also like the consoles that are intending to target 4K, and at some degree, 4K uh, with a higher refresh rate, and therefore needs the bandwidth. Um, you know, you gotta, you gotta transfer that memory quick. So, fair enough. But, yeah, like, how many people legitimately play 1080p? Or 1440p. The th the higher your your refresh rate, you, you, music. Sorry, music. Your um your memory doesn't necessarily need to be greater in capacity. Uh, this feels like uh, a fight, and I feel like I can heal at the inn, wherever the inn is. Oh boy, where is the inn? Is it up here? Got you. Inn. Inn. Guy's house. Uh, you guys have an inn, don't you? There it is. Look at that. I'm actually paying for an inn for once in this game. You don't. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to brave it. I'm just gonna have to wing it. Oh well. Oh well. Uh,. So, yeah, no, I, I have the feeling that, uh, um, that, yeah, it's, whew, oh, 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 is that, is that not, is that not exactly what I was talking about? It, it literally, like, want to try the lucky guess? Sure. Yeah, I was. Fair enough. Fair enough. Good on that guy. He has a bit of, bit of morals. What's happening here? Yeah, sure. Ah. Oh. Hi. Huh. There's no mistaking it. I can't believe it, so... <sighs> I mean, granted, there wasn't a boss. He doesn't really know how well I fight. He just kind of knows that I exist. But, take solace in knowing that you exist. And so, we expect...
I mean, I did mention slightly, slightly earlier on the stream that Isaac seems to be just so good. If I had to take one person, I would take Isaac. Why is he so good? I'm not too sure. Usually, when you play a JRPG, don't don't people balance it out? You can cheer from on the stage. Well, at least you do get that. Sure, yeah. Oh, you're confusing all the guards, man. Totally unheard of. Okay, sure. Oh boy, what am, what am I in? This is the site of the first finals battle. I swear the warriors test their metal against each other. No, it's actually more than that. They're racing to get it and get the best equipment. Sure. Okay, warriors enter the finals without any of their own equipment. Please look over there. As the starting point of the first stage of the finals, you must get through several stages before you reach the arena. Just along the way contain items that may be useful in battle. This is the battle arena. After getting here, the warriors do battle. You can get weapons in the arena too, but this one is weaker than the other. So you have the advantage if you get it first. Also, you can use the equipment to get it in your next match. I think I understand. I'll see attendance for the explanation of the stages. What is happening here? What's up, Bratzo? How's it going? I, I glanced over. I missed the, the chat from a minute ago. I, I'm looking so intently at this, just kind of going like, what is, what is going on? So this is called the Rock Challenge. Where an individual who may or may not look like that. Alright, so you gotta push that. That seems quite clear. That kind of seems like if I was down below, I'd do that. Uh, so who would cheer for me? Let's do it in order. There you go, get in there. Oh, wait. Oh, I was gonna say... Wait, no one else in my party actually knows how to push things, so... I was thinking, like, is that the meme? Like, you'd have someone to do the, the lower strat for you? Although, I don't really see how anyone, like, cheats that one. Uh, I guess me, I can do that. Am I doing this wrong? Probably. Alright, so then this one is the broken bridge. Oh, see if I had, like, growth. But you don't have growth, so this is... This is a fun one. This is actually going to be fun as heck. Uh, and then it, we've got four stages. Yeah, I was going to say, can't you just do that? Okay, okay, well, uh, let's see how poorly I mess this up. We'll see. This is a mouthful. This is a lot to, like, soak up. Hi there. It's the fourth ranked warrior. Okay, sure. 
Okay, I don't know what's happening here, but sure. Ah. Hey. Okay, well, let's get ready for the finals. Oh, oh, I, I see what they did. They drew an extra circle there. Nice. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so... Plot of the game so far, um, I have entered myself into a tournament. Uh, the tournament consists of running to the destination uh, the quickest to get the best weapons to then beat the boss, hopefully. See, the problem is, is that I don't... Oh, I do have move! Yes! Bro, that's it. That's it. That's cheeky. Uh, see, now I don't have throw here, so... Which is a shame, and I can't... I can't cheese the gin, so I can't unfortunately do that. And then... What do you use? Do you use... Do you frost it? Do you just make it go up? So he's coming on the other side. Oh, jeez. Uh. Uh, the knot wasn't quite what I was expecting. Okay, so now I gotta do this. I gotta wait for that to, to do its thing, but that's okay. And then that. I gotta take a long way if I want the treasure up the top, don't I? Yeah. These are not very good items, in particular. And then this one's the same boat. i do that. Oh, he just yeeted. He just went straight for the end. Didn't he? He did. He did just run straight for the end. I oh, know he didn't. Okay, I got it first. And I got a shield. What did he get? I think I did kind of need one person to be in a good spot. And now I gotta beat him. Uh, now I've got my gin, but I think I'm probably gonna run the, the good stats and just... Here's a question, what equipment did I get? Oh, the Natsu will be good for health, if I care. I think the shield is actually gonna help, so that's nice. Uh, but I'm probably going to stick with just using Ragnarok for the moment, because I think that's a pretty good attack. We got some unique boss music, I guess. That's neat. Well, drop. I like the one-on-one -on -one kind of style as well. Just change it up, because I've always had a party of, of uh, two this whole game, so... <laughs> Use the nut. Use the nut. Oh, ah, there we go. I didn't even need a heal. Nice. Okay, nice. Should have expected as much a warrior. And now I gotta look at more stages. Oh. This is the site of the second finals match. Oh, thank you. Okay. So, I guess here's the thing. Can I solve the puzzle of what to do? Mini maze. Uh, this seems like another one where, like, someone has to use move. Oh no, where will I go? Um, so I'm gonna say no for the moment, just so I know what I'm up against, so I can set the people right. Because I feel like I cut it quite fine on the, the first one. The shifting floor stage, step skillfully across the floor as it moves.
Okay. Alright, sure. I see. Maybe. Uh, this is stage three. Would you like to hear a description? Okay. So then we've got this one that looks like you just freeze the bottom out. I have the logs across to get to the other side. That actually seems painful if I don't have the frost on. Stage four? Yeah. Okay. The fans just call this the wall. Scale the wall, and then you jump. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> give me another glimpse of, uh, what's going on there. That kind of looks like I gotta fall on the, the middle one. That kind of just looks like fall on the middle one, just, just go for it. Okay. And then... Oh, it keeps going. It keeps going. Okay. Uh... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The board walk. Oh, to a position block in half. That kind of seems like I just... Hmm. Alright, so what I'm thinking is that Garrett probably just put, moves the first one. Because that looked like they had a pillar. Uh... Second ones look like you could halt the guy, I think. I think that's what they're going for. And then... We had freeze puzzles. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll just swing the last two. Alright, so that seems nice. That's in order. So, cheer with Garrett. Maybe I should have saved. <laughs> yeah, we got this. I got this, it's cool. So cheer with... Cheer. Nice. Cheer with Ivan for the halt. This is a rather convoluted side feature. Uh, oh, I hit description. Now I gotta wait. I gotta wait. Uh, I'm curious how you intend. Wait, to do this normally, don't you just go up the top and then just like jump? All right, so that seems like all three, I guess. So I assume each round is knocking out one person. Uh. This seems like, naturally... Oh, that's it. Uh... Nice, okay. And then, uh... Oh, I think I could just do this one, can't I? Okay, that's interesting. You only get one move as well. Hi. And I gotta go the long way. Nice. Nice, not too bad. Uh, this, I think, was the good one. Don't need items, don't need them. Uh, and I can go across here and then jump that away. Which means I'm now up to the wall. Don't care. I'm just gonna fall down the middle one. Nice. And then this one, uh, had to get the nut, walk around. Push, and I guess I'm already here. Nice. Okay, sweet. Sweet. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. We're good. Now I gotta wait for this slow coach.
Man, he's taking his time. He's really getting there. There you go. Now you get a shirt. Good luck. Alright, so... I think just sticking with, with the magic and then just, like, healing when I need to. And he's also just defending. Also, did I keep my... I did keep my items. Nice. So now I've got both the Iron Shield and the Chainmail. That's nice. Maybe that's, uh... Thing where you kind of get wrecked if you're, if you're not using the, the right items. Your smoke bomb means nothing, for I am over leveled. Take that. Oh, he's used the nut. He's on the nut. Moira, I'm on the nut. Yeah, he deals a little bit of damage, but it's not something I can't react to. Uh, I am using my magic pretty quick, uh, which is maybe going to bite me in the butt if I if I don't have the ability to heal myself with that and I have to use the nut, but it should be okay. Like, I've got the one, like, kill well, which is cheap as heck. I think revive's a little useless right now, but that's okay. Ragnarok seems to just be, like, killing magic. This guy is definitely taking the hits, though. There you go. Okay. Hey. Alright. Ooh. There's only one more fight left. Cool. Sweet. Let me take your... Okay. Alright. Alright. See, rule of threes. You had four fights on the, on the boat. Unless there's a magical fourth fight. So I like, I didn't think you'd make it this far. Okay. All right. <laughs> Another description. What have we got going on here? The scales of justice. That obviously looks like you use frost. Um. Now that kind of yeah, that kind of seems mean because it's like the first scale looks like it probably drops down, and then you have to walk around to to set that up, so I think using cross. That seems right. Uh, <laughs> oh boy! Oh! Uh, oh, I see there being a little bit of a cut. If you move the one pillar there to the right, I think you've got a cut there. <laughs> it's the shortest path, it's one path. Uh... Stage three, yeah, give me a description. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, oh, is that another freeze the guy? Yeah, probably. Okay, okay, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. This is why the city's so big, because I gotta set up all these wipeout traps everywhere. The free climb area. Oh, you get to climb around. I guess you could use growth, but... You know, I've already got like three things, so... Would you like a description? Uh, moving sidewalk stage. The way about moves the opposite direction you need to go. Do you just gutsy run it? That kind of just looks like you got to run it. Nothing really too weird there. Another log rolling area. You've run out of names. Ah, so you need the log to reach the whole way. And so therefore you got to push some logs. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the save here. So that I've got a point that I can go, ah yes, I did screw up. Uh, but I think I've got the help in the first three. So let me just remind myself which one this one is. Yeah, so this is the one I need to just freeze the guy. Uh. So freeze is Ivan. There he goes. 
He's got a cape. He knows what he's up to. And then this one, uh, this was Pillar. So we'll get Garrett to push that. Uh, so yeah, Garrett pushes that. This one, yeah. I don't know why I'm really like showing myself. Uh, would you like a friend to cheer on you? There you go. There you go. Okay. Yep. Oh boy. Lend a hand. So this I moved right, didn't I? Uh, this I froze the guy at the right time. Uh, I'm just gonna double check I've met that. I assume that just puts it on the right thing because that'd be kind of pain. And then this use frost, and that will push up. Which will save me a bit of time, won't it? Nice. Okay. Alright. Oh, you gotta push the pillar there, normally. Oh, that would be pain. So, rip. Good luck. Smoke bomb. Got it. Now I can jump this way immediately. Nice. This guy's not giving me any issues. I'm so far ahead. Jeez. Okay, and now the rock climbing wall. Oh. <laughs> Who did this? Who said that was fair? Alright, and now holding right. Holding right the stage. Okay, and then last bit. Gonna move all of these up. Guy cheat on me. Oh, is he gonna cheat? Is he gonna cheat? He's gotta walk back, doesn't he? Well, I get the better swords, aha! <laughs> okay, he didn't cheat on me. <laughs> He's just, he just waited. He just said, nah, nah, this guy's got it. Hi there. Look at you! Look at you! You got the babby weapon! Okay, so... We just kick in with... Uh, Ragnarok, it seems to be working out. It's doing a fair bit of damage, 140 G's. Okay, so he hits a bit, he still hits a bit. It's nothing that I, it seems like I can't react to it though. Like, at some point I'm just gonna heal myself and then... Like, that buys me a few turns. So unless he's got like a cheeky attack. Like, he's got a smoke bomb, I guess. I guess. I'm just using Ragnarok all the time. You can't do anything about it. And then sometimes they defend, which I guess uses my magic slightly, but I'm just gonna continue using Ragnarok. Like, sure. And then you got a nut, which does indeed waste my time, and definitely I should note, if you're gonna spam nuts, then I might need to watch out for you know, my MP going down. I don't know, he doesn't seem like he's putting up that much of a fight. He is just defending a ton though, isn't he? He's got no strategy, it's just... Just war of attrition, right there. If I defend all the time, he'll never be able to win. Or he could just die. Cool. Am I over level- Oh, Isaac, you did- I didn't even need a nut. Oh. Is he okay? Is he cool? Is he cool? Ah, oh, he's just sleeping. What a monumental victory. Just fall asleep the moment you defeat the guy. Nice.
Sure, just leave. of the living. Uh, I don't remember the deep sleep. He was out cold. Well. <laughs> Not okay. Nice. Wow, wait, this guy is shouting loud, isn't he? Babby said he wanted to see you when he can't. Okay. Imagine, yeah, actually becoming like a world champion and then just going, like, yeah, now nah, I'm gonna sleep. I want that to happen. There we go. I'm back out. Well, that was a... that was an event. Uh, oh yeah, this was the, um... place at the back. <laughs> I... do okay, tourist towns are just like that. It's like... You know... I don't know if Sydney's like that with the big fireworks. I assume there's more going on throughout the year. Uh, that would encourage people to keep up things, but it's like... Yeah, no, everyone around, like, the harbour is just like, yeah, nah. New Year's. I have been waiting. Okay. There we go. The victor's prize. I was behind the throne the whole time. Do you not have a safe? Okay. The lure cap. Okay. Feel better? Nope. So why were we summoned? What? Insolence! <laughs> this guy is a pretty, like, fair guy. I'll, I'll tell you that. Nice, good job. Okay, so what's going on? Uh, sure, I guess we'll learn more about Lemuria. The desire is as plain as day. Oh, cool. I guess I did use Synergy a lot, didn't I? Oh, you've got... Okay. I mean, I did just summon, like, giant swords out of nowhere, so... Yeah. What's a Lemurian? It is the city of ancient people lying out at sea. Ah, okay. Great flood struck while I was traveling with Lumpa. Uh, the thief. Okay. Man, I when people get really old in RPGs, I swear. Well, darn, he doesn't have the stone. Dude, I hate the idea of, like, being able to live, like, that crazy long. Just because, like, like, I guess it would be nice to be young all the time. But also just like, yeah, like slow aging is like, oh, I don't want to be old for a long time, really. Me as a 25 year old, you know. <laughs> I'm not 25 yet. We're getting there. 
I'm running out of my draft. Wait, how do you leave it all the way deep in that cave behind the hidden thingy and then you turned invisible? I don't know what's going on there. So you can't find Lemuria, but it's out at sea, and you know that it's out at sea, but you don't want to search the seas. Why? Because... is it the ships have died? Is it because the ships have... Oh, you couldn't find it? You just you just try. Why'd you collapse in the cave? You have more Lemuria. Uh, oh, you waited too long. Ah, oh, rip. Wait, so he can't find Lemuria and then he wants us to find Lemuria, like... By air. I built Babby Lighthouse. Okay, something... Okay. Okay. There's worse than monsters? What's worse than monsters, bro? <laughs> Wormholes, that's it. Can't you tell that you're slightly moving because, yeah, like, a landmark or the sun? So we get a boat? Is that it? Is, is that the goal? We've got a boat? Oh my gosh, he's still going! So basically anyone can become an adept. This guy's like, no, I must be an adept. Oh, how convenient, you had a bunch of adepts. I don't even get a choice. Oh, but he is gonna grant a wish. He is like an almost genie. We're kids, we got no goals. <sighs> we <laughs> we do have to beat people to it. The Venus Lighthouse? Why are there so many lighthouses? What is happening? What is actually happening? There's a lot of exposition all of a sudden. Did you go? It's the Venus Lighthouse. Okay. Uh Sure. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. Okay, so he's now gonna go. So we can go brilliant idea, nice. Uh, suitable reward for this guy, or he's gonna, he's gonna set up. Okay, so point is, this guy wants us to find a town. He built a lighthouse so that people could sail to the town that's under the sea. Uh, and we have to get to a lighthouse, a different lighthouse that's somewhere else. So it'd be nice to sail the seas. Oh, hi there. Uh, yeah. Sure. Actually, that'd be nice. The Cloak Ball. <laughs> He's like a dead person. You don't have to worry about it. Like, jeez, man. He's not Keith Richards, is he? He looks okay. <laughs> that was a ge certified Gex moment right there, by the way. Oh, I did. Okay. Uh, so this guy is just chilling outside. Oh. Had a bit of a collision fun there. Uh, I guess the ocean's that way. Uh, 
Uh, is there anything else over in this direction that like I needed to care about? Ah, bats! It's weird to have party members again. <laughs> uh, the the key thing to making a Gex moment is just to say this is like a and then a celebrity who definitely like didn't like or rather was well established before 2000. That's that's how you make a Gex moment. You can say anything. Like you, you just goes, and and the the key thing is that like you, it doesn't even have to be like relevant to the person, to the celebrity who you are saying. So you could, I, I, like my brain's just trying to like formulate like what what's a gex moment you could say, and it's like this is more devious than the person who arranged for Janet Jackson's wardrobe or something like that. You're like, I guess that's relevant, but <laughs> you just you just say something like weird like that. Just relate to relate to a person who exists. Say something kind of embarrassing. All good. Uh, there's probably quite a few things that I could say. That would be uh, a lot more um, on the uh, edgier side, we'll say, so I'll, I'll leave that be. <laughs> Certified Gexman, right there, though. Yeah, I don't think there's anything over here, which is a bit of a shame. A bit of a absolute shame. It's weird as well, like, the map... It stretches off left, but it doesn't really find anything. I assume there's stuff down here. This is where probably the meat and bones are. Here's the, uh, definitely ocean. There we go. Ah! <laughs> Dang it, Mad Mole. Uh, so I think well before any of... Uh, oh boy, do I remember what was happening in here? Oh, here's a purple gorilla! What? What's he doing? Who is he? Uh, this is a... A lift. <laughs> Various kind of rock. What do I use on it? Oh my gosh, jeez. We slap- we're slapping these guys beyond belief. Uh, there we go. Hop, hop, hop. I don't think I've been here because I'm picking up medals. I'm picking up items I've not picked up before. Something's happening. This is a kobold. He's just here. What's he doing? What's his story? I don't know. And people are reaching level 21 on their own. They grow up so fast, that's where. Uh, okay, so that's a way to go back. Uh, all these caves kind of look the same, to be honest. It's a shame, I know. I 
think the tough part is that, like, a lot of the enemies, uh, are, like, they're not exactly the most, like, unique enemies. Like, kobolds are pretty, you know, typical fantasy enemies. We had, like, slimes. Is this a, a lift? This doesn't seem like a lift. Maybe it's a... Is this a move? It is a move. Okay. It looks fun, like a little weird. Oh, that's nice. Uh, and does that lead back to the start? Ah, uh, <laughs> what is this dungeon? But he is strong, I swear. Oh. That is a stun ape, and everyone else is stunned to see that stun ape. Uh, this is back to the side. Okay. So I just created a shortcut for myself. So this is a place to go to. Or at least a place to do something in. Gosh! That was an attack. Alright, and these guys are willing to put up a fight. We'll see. Um... So yeah, I think I mentioned way long ago... Yeah, I was playing, a. Uh, Metropolis Street Racer. Um, that game's pretty alright. I definitely recommend uh, giving it a go if you like uh, uh, more arcadey, but on the real side of racing games. Um, it's definitely quite nice. Uh, the gimmick with the game is that um, it consists of um, three cities, and each city is broken down into three districts, and then each district they set up various circuits um, on the other side. Sure, wait. I am actually on the other side. Like, all the way. All the way on the other side. That didn't really go anywhere. Okay. Sure, I guess. So now I'm back here, and then this was... The tunnel. Where this guy is... Done. Uh... I wanna... I have a theory. In my head. Uh, the theory involves me healing people first. Uh... But the theory is... That my inventory is nearly out. Oh, jeez. Uh... I guess I can't really move, and also it's bright, so... Hmm. Here's something, if I'm standing here... Okay, I'm gonna go there. I've got another place I might be able to use that. Uh, can I walk up there now? I can, yes. Uh, I am actually gonna be like, mega strong right now. Uh, just because if if an early game enemy comes at me and is like, bro, how much health do you have? Less than 95. I've got two experience. Two experience. How much experience do I have? 35,000. Two is not that consequential. Um, oh, another game I was playing was um, just kind of old school RuneScape. I know I hit Steam again, but um, I kind of liked having a bit of a plan to go in and actually like work some capacity to getting to a member's bond because uh, I never experienced the member stuff. I played the game way long ago. It's all older than the YouTube channel I played it. Alright, so here's my theory is that 
Can I use it here? These guys are gonna tell me off for coming close. Here's a question. Can I use it while in the shadow? Does it react differently in the shadow? It does! It does! Bro! Bro, I'm in! I'm in! Oh, this is gonna be the fun part now. It's actual, like, sneaky boy. Uh, and bonus points for, I think I need to have that bound to L. Like, I need to just do it. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a wild journey. Alright, so line of sight. Watch out for line of sight, and... Got it. Oh, hi there. Hi. Hi, are you, yeah? Great, great help. Great help, man. Really good help. Appreciate all the help. Alright, so I guess sneak past this guy on the other side. Alright, oh, they move! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting to go from, like, Puzzle Trial into, uh, I was gonna say Metal Gear Solid, there's more stealth games than Metal Gear Solid, you know what I mean. I wasn't expecting a stealth mechanic in my, uh, JRPG. It, it just seemed to happen. It almost happened organically. Almost. And I did that twice. I, mmm, mmm. I'm kicking myself slightly because I've done it twice. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's let's see if I can get this. Cloak now, walk around. Cloak again. I gotta keep going. Alright, wait. There's gonna be a guy. He walks out, he's gonna come around the corner, investigate that freaking door. Good on him for just like being a jerk. Okay, and that gives me an opportunity to run past him, and around and down. Now, what do I do when I'm here? That guy's standing there, I guess I can go up the stairs. This is a guy who runs around, or is he just going back and forth? He's just going back and forth. Hello about this? Oh. Hi there. Kind of? Sure, I guess. Uh, so this seems like a guy. Let's use the good old uh, one, one attack strat. Just absolutely annihilate one guy. Too many things that just like defeat one guy really well. And he also has smoke bombs. Or I could just stick with melee, I think that's probably a fair strat. Wow, I really can just stick with melee. Okay, he's dead. Got it. Hi. Hi. Uh, I know. Okay, sure. Oh, he's got a key in there. And I don't have anything to open the door with. There's something, so if I'm... 
I have the feeling I could actually just bolt past this guy without cloaking, and I think that's the... You... Mm. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, and left. It's, oh, left here. Oh, never mind. Okay. And that's not a. Well, that is an exit, but it's not quite the exit that I was expecting. Maybe that key opens all the doors, and then I, like, back up and I go through the, key, the doors with the keys. Look at these two guys having a chat. So, um, yeah, uh, so yeah, I, I, I briefly mentioned, so the gimmick is that they've got the circuits, uh, in the, the, the districts, and, uh, yeah, it, almost every event you play will be on a different circuit, which, I love the concept, it's actually kind of neat, um, and they pull it off rather well, because, like, I guess an issue that, uh, one might have is that the, uh, the circuits may become repetitive. This screen crossing effect has its, uh, quirk. Okay. Oh. Oh. What is this? What is that? Jeez. Um. Alright, what's, what's down here? Oh, hi. Um. But no, they do a pretty good job of kind of, like, putting in walls in the right spots to make it feel like a legitimate circuit. Um. There's a certain degree of, like, yeah, there's, um, you are, like, one circuit might just have, like, a corner, like, one block later in the city. Um. Alright, considering that one was easy, I think three is probably going to be a fair, a fair fight. Um. For me, at least. <laughs> Rip these people. They've come here, they're at least doing their job. And then here is me just going, ah, dropping some rocks on your head. Uh, but yeah, no, it's it's pretty alright. I also like the idea of the events being like a betting game. So as in, you can do the minimum required in order to beat the challenge, but you can also say, hey, I'm actually going to, um, like, you know, instead of beating this in a minute five, you beat it in. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Gex. I appreciate it, Gex. Um, uh, you can set yourself to uh, beat it in a minute or something like that. Um, and you'll gain more kudos, and the kudos unlocks more challenges, although you do reach some weird point later in the game where once you have actually reached the end of the game, the number of kudos you have purely serve for the online challenge, which I think it's okay, but... Get out of here. Uh... Do I just have to find another guy? Like, he's just... Yeah, it is. Is this just one guy? Is this just one guy? I'm just gonna beat him up with melees again. And he's stunned. He can't even handle this. Can't even do it. Um... But yeah, it's pretty alright. My issues are with the game that, uh... Setting the bar low and power sliding a ton seems to be the best way to... Oh, that's him! That's the guy! Oh, no. Wait, oh, which one's Domper and which one's the Domper? Yeah. Uh, excuse me, can you just, like, go to the side? Just like move slightly over. Oh, he's going in the circle. Oh, no, he's not. Come on. Uh. I have an idea. Uh, what if I cast... Is it catch? Is that it? Eh. Nice. 
Oh, <laughs> jeez. Hi there. And one guy again, so... Uh, but yeah, no, like, unfortunately setting the bar low is kind of the way that you end up beating the game. Uh, there is a bit of a difficulty spike very late in the game where, like, a handful of events are just, like, the, ch the bar is ridiculously high for the minimum. Um, you just have to, like, know what cars are actually good and which ones aren't. I love that door opening. It's like... Just, no chill. Uh, and then that's back earlier. And that's the bush that I got our whirlwind, don't I? It's been a while since I've done this. We actually got monsters in this dungeon. <laughs> Alright, um... Yeah, nah. Um, yeah, nah, game, game's pretty alright. I Yeah, that, that one mechanic is a little, uh, weird. I think the music gets grating, like... Uh, I like the idea that every, uh, city has three radio stations. Each radio station has, like, three songs. Uh, when you're in a location, you will hear those songs a lot. And on top of that, that kind of adds up to maybe an hour and a half of music. Uh, the radio doesn't really introduce the songs differently. There's not, like, any real random ordering with how the audio works. I think it is kind of a pretty linear playlist. Um, so you do, you do really get to grips with the music. Really early. Oh. Um. But no, I'd say it's pretty alright. Uh, give it a go. It looks definitely like a game that came out in 2000 for the Dreamcast, but it does alright. I appreciate the weather effects. This one guy died, and one man's skull, and another man's treasure. We got a lot of enemies, don't we? Jeez. At some point, these enemies gotta give up. Okay, so let's not bother with that. And then this goes south to another thing. This is a box. Uh, does the box have to go all the way down? Gosh! These random encounters, I, I absolutely miss the uh, fixed encounters of the later Dragon Quest. I absolutely miss them. Um, or things like, uh, just... I guess I do have a repel kind of item, though. So these guys giving that much experience? 207's a bit, actually. Yeah, so I've got to push this box all the way down. All the way down. Um, but no, yeah, it's pretty alright. Um, yeah, give it a go. It's on the Dreamcast only. Uh, I hear the European version has some weird bugs, so I'll probably play the US version. I don't know, I don't think Dreamcast are... Uh, region free, so I guess yeah. If you do have a European group class, and rip people who are in Japan and didn't get a Japanese version of the game. Um, let's check that other door. Ooh, enemies! I swear, I should probably kill Mia at some point. Here we go. What's in the door? Nothing. Nice. That was a worthwhile experience. You're all here to witness it, and you're all here to unwitness it. Alright, so hop across, and... Door. Oh, goodness. The worst part is that, like, none of these guys are, like, particularly huge threats to me. I guess that's the thing, is that I've not found the game, like, ridiculously hard. Like, I have the ability to save anywhere. 
and yet I've not really struggled in a fight. I've kind of had this dumb strat where I'm just kind of meleeing things and seems to be doing okay. So, I'm not too sure. Maybe I'm going to get wrecked by something like post game. Or, or super bossy. And this is the same boat. Isn't it? Yep. Hi there. This is the same, like, layout as, um, the uh, first dungeon in the original NES Legend of Zelda, is it? This guy turns into a dragon and starts, like, spitting fire across the screen. It's him! Hold it! <laughs> I was watching um, the first episode of Kid Nation today, just to like, really understand like how it is, and they're all just like, we'll show them adults that kids can, can have power hierarchies just like, just like adults. Uh, and yeah, it's just like, we're, yeah, we're kids, so what? Like, oh, okay. An actual trap? Oh, dang. Oh, no. Uh, okay, now I've got to do an actual trap. We're gonna go with the magic. I feel like keeping the the, the gin and just having a, um, like a, a high kind of health, um, you know, part of your team, and then just backing it up with some spells here and there. Which reminds me, I think I've got. Why do I saw a spritz there? Yeah, okay. Um, I feel like going in kind of hard with the, the magic. I think I won't be able to use magic for the whole fight. Like, I probably won't have enough magic to just, like, keep spamming all the time. There's the- we're back! We've done it! We've- we're back to the sticky poison! Again, how is your poison stickier than others? Uh, what do I- who- I think- got like a cure poison. Uh... Yeah, you've got a cure poison. Yeah. You gotta watch out, that poison gets you. Oh jeez, 30 damage. Oh, and his blood's rotten. He is dropping my stats a bit, so... And he heals, and he heals. Uh let's let's actually start using some gin. Give him the sap, give him the goods. At least I could do 160 damage in a single attack. I guess the nice thing as well is that now I've got like so many gin I can just like figure out four to use uh, rather than necessarily uh, going in with a harsh one. I'll get this one is actually. Yeah. Uh, let's do some party attack. Uh, French or foe. This fishy thing. He... he kept him here. Or I guess I know if he kept him. Like, why do you? Why does he look like this? What did you do? Okay, so that's like a little bit of It's not really fun. Um, let's see. Tangle foes to drop agility. Uh, probably just go to the ground and then another one. Uh, we'll stun him. We'll uh, attack twice in the next round, I guess. Now that I think about it, that doesn't really have too much uh, benefit, does it? That actually is just like preventing him from attacking. Nice. Just 
stunned and unable to move. Like, how brutal is that? Uh... And you can just use... Oh, yeah. You got two attacks. Uh... Yeah, kick him with a Storm Ray. And then, uh... You can lull him to sleep. Like, let's just stack up everything. Jeez. And he's asleep. Well, I guess he's not stunned anymore. No, he is both. He is both stunned and asleep. But he does heal. Uh, so now comes the fun part. Activate all of the... all of the djinn. And... See how this goes. Alright, how much damage are we dealing? How much damage are we going for? 615? Fair enough. Fair enough. Yada yada yada. Judgment. 615. Nice. How much we got? 387. He is awake now. And... 8 wants to and he's dead. Nice. 999 experience. Jeez. Well. Oh, he's on him. How did he get trapped underneath the monster? Oh. Nice. What a terrible human being. Looks awfully fine. Uh, should we try and move it? We will have mercy on him. You know, we could just use the Synergy, we could just pick it up. We don't really have to carry a dead fish off him. Sure, symbolic, I guess. What? You, you are literally kidnapped. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Will he reform? Is Garrett just going to be the salty, arrogant guy with the fire hair? We should lock him up here. No, we should never lock him up. Oh, hi there. Dad! You are a terrible human being. <laughs> you must <laughs> rid the world of everything bad you've done. What a nice way to wrap it up. If this guy just sat tight, everything would have just not worked out at all. But nah, he had to had to be asleep in the bed. Oh, what a nice guy. You literally got kidnapped. Not only did you get kidnapped, you got kidnapped and you didn't even know, like, what, like, he would barter for, for hostage, like, for a hostage scenario. So, literally, he just kidnapped you, like, just because. Uh, by sneaking? Oh, rip. So I do actually have to sneak him out. Hmm. I mean, it'd be 
immediately. Uh, oh, okay. A shrewd one. Struth, mate. Yeah. Nice individual. Can I just cast like evac and just we'll get out? Okay, we'll just cast evac. Got it. Oh, but you still gotta do that. It's, well, rather, the game is doing it for me, but sure. Alright, now I'm back in control. Uh, hi there, individual. Wow. Oh, I'm still. I'm still curious what's going on over here. I swear. Like this actually, hold on, like... Uh... That's screaming out to me, and I got no idea how you get there. This magical rock in the middle. No idea how you do it. Just raise that. See ya. Uh, oh. Hi there. Wait a minute, yeah, actually. Oh. Bonza? <gasps> Hello. Okay. Yeah, it definitely was a license idea. Nice. Nice. Ah. Oh. Must not judge customers on their appearances. Oh. That seems like kind of gutsy advice. So just pure coincidental timing. Nice. got a wagon. A wagon. We're going to Calais in the wagon. We're good? Ah, okay. Sure. Uh, no.
Alright, in we go. Woo! We have arrived. We have done it. Wait. The secret entrance? The underground? Oh, okay. <laughs> Just to be safe. He's gonna go, oh wait, they were all the way back here. Got it. And we wheeled back. And he's gone. Alright, so I think that's a good spot to call it for the day. Uh, I have not yet passed the two hour mark, so I have fortunately kept within that. Uh, anyway, with that, thank you guys so very much for, uh, for tuning in, for enjoying some more Golden Sun. Um, definitely lots of different stuff. I actually was surprised at how how many different things? We have the weird, like, tournament fight, um, have the dungeon at the beginning, so just the typical puzzles, have the stealth bit, man, there's different stuff all the time, so, uh, I will remind everyone again, uh, this is all going on YouTube in, like, a day's time, uh, so please stay subscribed there, uh, and follow on Twitch, although I seem to be streaming regularly, so that's okay, um, and, uh, yeah, if you're new here, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you're older here, I hope you did, you've enjoyed this. Um, so have a good have a good week, guys. Have a chill chill March. Uh, weather changes quick, I guess. I don't know. I still have no idea how to end these streams properly. I'll find out maybe later. <laughs>